everybody. Welcome to Tuck Tuck's Trinkets and Terrain. Uh, for this week's video, I was a little short on time this week just because of real life things going on. Uh, so I thought I would hopefully give you some inspiration on how to make some interesting dice trays. Uh, I made a couple different ones with some different ideas and um, sort of themes that uh, you can use or draw inspiration from. Um, so I'm going to show you what I did and how I did it and I hope you enjoy. So for the base, obviously we'll need some sort of box or container for our dice trays. Uh, I get these just at the local craft store. They're reliable and cheap. But to make them a little more interesting, I'm going to color all of these. Uh, so for one, I'm just using my normal sort of brown wash that I use in my terrain. Uh, this gives it a nice dark brown color but keeps the wood grain. Uh, and then for the others, I just use some spray paint, uh, super basic and easy to give it some different colors. Uh, but for this white one here, I actually ran out while I was spraying it. So I thought that I would just cover it with some normal craft paint. Uh, but while I was doing it, I had the idea of doing sort of a paint splotch, paint splatter sort of uh, design, making really big globs of paint to add some three dimensionality to the dice tray here. Uh, but after the white, I also grabbed the primary color so red yellow blue uh, and did the same thing just hitting it randomly getting really big uh, amounts of paint on the brush and just sort of spreading it around and yeah, just to make some interesting visuals a lot of dice trays I see are kind of boring um, you know they're just wood with uh, some leather or felt or whatever in the middle so I like to make these you know interesting and, and unique uh, so that they're fun to look at while they're on the table so that one is pretty much done. Uh, I set that aside to dry. For this wood one here, uh, I'm gonna make sort of a beach scene. Um, again, to add some three dimensionality to the tray itself. Uh, so a little bit of sand in the corner here uh, makes a nice little beach scene. And then I just throw some uh, shells down. I have learned that if you wanna add anything uh, to the inside of a dice tray here, you want it as flat as possible. It gets pretty heavy pretty quickly. Uh, so I'm trying to pick flat shells and use as little as sand as possible. And then for the black one, um, using some scrap pieces of foam that I glue down and cover with some PVA glue. Uh, I glued a assortment of flat back gems to it and then just flocked these with a glitter mixture to make some treasure piles. Uh, so you can roll your dice and do a, a treasure hoard of sorts. This particular mixture is uh, four different types of glitter, I believe. A gold, a silver, sort of a rainbow, uh, and then an ultra-fine iridescent one. Um, I've found that this works super well. It makes a really nice, interesting sort of treasure uh, flocking. Shake that around to make sure that it's covering all the surfaces where I want glitter. And then for the last one here, uh, super simple. You can just print out whatever you want um, on a piece of paper and cut it out and glue it down. So. I chose a, a logo here um, so I can have a personalized dice tray to use. Now obviously the possibilities with this one are basically endless. You can choose whatever design you want, whether it be a, you know, a business logo, a sports team, um, you know, really whatever you want to throw down here. I just use a glue stick, uh, nice and quick and easy, it dries super fast. Uh, but you do want to make sure that, it, that the picture is perfectly flat. Uh, with no wrinkles or bubbles or anything. Now for the logo one and the treasure pile, I'm happy with how these look as they are. So I'm gonna pour some two-part epoxy resin over these. Um, you would technically wouldn't need it for the paper one, but for the treasure pile, obviously you need a flat surface to roll dice on. Uh, so I just poured a thin layer in or as thin of a layer as I possibly could. Uh, and then I'm just using a heat gun to pop all of these surface bubbles to get a nice, clear, smooth uh, surface. For my beach scene, um, same thing, two-part epoxy resin, but I'm gonna add some alcohol inks to color it um, and just make a nice gradient from the beach side all the way to the, I guess, the deep side of the tray here. And then I do add another layer of clear over the top of this to make sure that it's nice and flat and all the shells are completely covered. And then for my paint splotch one, um, kind of similar to the beach one, just red blue and yellow resin um, in three separate areas with a little bit of mixing in the middle here uh, just to match all of the paint, paint splotches uh, and this is how they all turned out so you can see these are four um, at least from what I've seen super unique super uh, you know personable customizable dice trays 
Uh, so hopefully this will give you some ideas on how to make your own um, out of, you know, whatever you want, basically. Make sure to subscribe and like the video if you did enjoy this or you got something out of this. I'd like to hear if uh, you have any ideas or you've done something similar. I do have an Instagram account that you can check out. I post in progress pictures and other things that I've got going on. Uh, I also have an Etsy shop where you can pick up dungeon tiles and other terrain accessories to use in your tabletop games. But more than anything, thank you so much for stopping by. We'll see you next time.